either I am or I am not. I prefer to think that I am. And I am hoping you say you agree with me. But even more so, I am hoping God says you are. Do you see how easy it would be to raise up an army of Christ that God wants it to be? Then you would not be worrying about trying to serve one or two masters, but a whole bunch of us. Mind you, if your spiritual eyes are really good, you should see that the possibility of this occurring, because God will say, you are, is now an even greater possibility. Faith tells me I will be successful, but even if I'm not, at least I tried to save the world, which is more than most of you can say. Do you want to see how bad it can really get? Then get the world to refuse me. You may save the world from having to worry about whether they are serving one or two masters. Am I the Holy One or somebody else? But you will cause, also cause them to have to deal with a whole bunch of these. Wait until you see how crazy you made the world. You'll have everyone going around like they have their heads cut off trying to figure out which one of you out there received my spirit when I'm gone. It would be better for everyone concerned if you would just say, I am the Lamb. And therefore, where they need to place their love and devotion, having to deal with one of me is hard enough. But having to deal with a whole bunch of these is something that even I wouldn't like. The difference would be like comparing the day to the night. Whether there is one of me or a million of me, I don't think really matters at this point because you can't stop these. However, one will make the world full of light and the other will probably plunge the world into darkness. Completely accept me if you don't want your light extinguished. Before you start rejoicing and going to the church and telling them that you searched the scriptures carefully and found one definite contradiction, you need to know that first of all, your enjoyment is going to be short-lived. While you might be right that the Bible says that John the Baptist is the Lamb, it also says that the Lord is the Lamb. Just for your information, the Bible even says that the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. Although I am a repentant sinner, I am not wicked. So I would appreciate it if you would quit trying to put out my lamp by covering it and hiding it away like some sort of dark evil thing so my light cannot shine before men. Instead of using it against me, you should try using it as another opportunity to tell your friends and neighbors 
who have fallen away from God about why they should come together with us and stand and rejoice in the presence of God. What appears to be an apparent contradiction in God's message is actually always there for a purpose. And that purpose is to build up you, them, and the organization of the church. Whenever you use my own scriptures against me, it's like you're pounding nails into me to hold me down. No one lights a lamp this way, and I certainly didn't light it to be hidden away. I want the whole world to see it. Maybe God wants both me and an army of Christ to come against you, so you are forced to make a decision. Jesus has to do something spectacular when he returns so people know who he is. Most people think he's going to physically raise the dead in order to prove who he is. I am here to tell you that that doctrine is pure nonsense. However, I will raise you up spiritually by giving you a great truth, and that is that you are begotten by the Father. When you become born again, and therefore eternal, just as I am, the kingdom of God I am creating is to be inhabited only by those who love this truth and have stopped living the lie that God has none or only one begotten real child. 